Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 15 to uh, 23. Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 15. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation to, uh, so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you and riches of his glorious inheritance in the saint. And his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is like working of his mighty strength, which he ex uh, exerted in Christ to when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the, his right hand in the heavenly names. For above all rule and authority and power and demonion and every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fears everything in every way. This morning, I would like to share with you, according to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 15 to 23, about the church. You are the church. I am the church. And then, because, you know, the you know, Ephesians is explained about the, the church. If you want to know the doctrine of the church, go to the book of Ephesians, and you can see. And Paul, he say he prayed three things. If you look at the verse uh, um, seven, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation, spirit of wisdom and spirit of revelation, so that you may know Jesus better. Do you want to know Jesus more clearly, more better? Receive the spirit of wisdom and Revelation is very important to knowing Jesus. Without the spirit of wisdom and revelation, it is impossible to knowing Jesus. Pray to God, oh God, help me to knowing and you better. How? When you receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation. When you receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation, you can see who is Jesus. You can know who is Jesus better and deeper uh, relationship as well. And again, he said, verse 8, and I pray also that eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you and riches with his glorious inheritance in the saint. What does it mean? You know, we have the heart, which is, uh, you know, we hear. And but Paul, he pray, may God open the eyes of your heart to know your calling. Do you know your calling? If you know your calling, how wonderful. You don't need to waste your time. Therefore, Paul, he prayed three things. Let God give you a spirit of wisdom and spirit of revelation, and God open your heart and to understand your calling. Do you know, my calling is a pastor and missionary. I preach the gospel in the United Kingdom. If you understand your calling, how wonderful. To knowing your calling, is a great blessing. Therefore, you, you know, and I'm pastor, I pray for our congregation. Oh God, would you help all our members? They understand uh, their calling. If they understand their calling, it is a great blessing. Therefore, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 15 to 23, Apostle Paul, he prayed for uh, Ephesians Christian. Three things. Oh God, give them spirit of wisdom and revelation so that they know Jesus better and deeper relationship without the spirit of wisdom and then revelation you never understand who is almighty god and he prayed to god oh god open the uh, eyes of their heart 
and to know that they are calling. The three things he pray, and then he speak about the church. Look at verse twenty two. The God placed all things under His feet. You see, everything is under His feet. Everything, all things under His feet, and appointed Him to be head of everything for the church. Jesus is the head of the church. Yeah, church is the body of Jesus Christ. Therefore. And he explained verse twenty three, which is his body. Church is his body. Yeah, he is the fullness of Jesus, who fills everything in every way. What does it mean? Everything in every way. I tell you, everything in every way. The church has got the solution for this world. God, God want to change this world, not through government, not through some organization. But through the church, do you know God has the hope in the church, not in the government, not in any other organization, no, not in the company, not in Samsung, not in Apple, not Amazon, no, no. Only God has the plan through the church. That is meaning which is His body. Church is the body of Lord Jesus Christ. And you can see the fullness of Jesus in the church, in the church, full of Jesus, full of Jesus. When you have full of Jesus also in your life, if you have full of Jesus, you have everything. Do you understand? Can I say again? If you have full of Jesus, you have everything. Why our life is a struggle and then is difficulties because we don't have the full of Jesus. If you have the full of Jesus, you have everything. Yeah. Therefore, in the church, the full of Jesus who fills everything in every way. Therefore, you know, through the church, God want to rule all this world. Through the church, God want to save the people. Through the church, God want to build His kingdom. Through the church, you know, whole of the world, you know, prepare for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who prepare the people? To meet with the Lord Jesus only through the church, not any organization. No, only the church. Therefore, church is very important. Jesus is the head of the church. The church is the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember when, if you read Acts chapter nine, Saul he was a persecutor. He persecuted Jesus. Do you know what was happening? He didn't persecute Jesus directly, but Saul he persecuted the church. But Jesus says, "Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me?" Actually, Saul he never persecuted Jesus directly, but Jesus said to Saul, "When you persecute the church, you persecute me." Do you understand? When you persecute the church, you persecute Jesus. Why? Because church is the body of Christ Jesus. Jesus is the head of the church. Therefore. You know, I pray to God for you three things. Let God give you book. Let God give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, and let God help you open your heart, understand your calling, and live according to your calling. I know Pastor Julio. He came to UK. He went to working for two, three hours, three years, and then go back to his home, home country. But God changed him. He's a missionary now. He's a pastor in the church. How wonderful! You know, his plan is much, much higher than our plan. His way is a perfect way. Therefore, you have to ask your Lord, "Your will be done. Your kingdom come." Now is the time. Through the church, God want to build His own kingdom, and then the church is His body, the fullness of Jesus, who fills everything in every way. Yeah. Do you want to get any solution? Yeah, through the church, God will give you any answer. Through the church, do you understand? Anything you need, I believe that church is the best place to receive everything from the Almighty God. Church is like a spiritual hospital. Yeah, if you have any sickness, yeah, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, any area, come to church, and then 
God will heal you. God will deliver you. God will change your life through the church. God has got a purpose through the church. God has got a plan through the church because the church is the, you know, um, his body, his body. You know, Jesus is ahead, yeah? His body need to work. You know, Jesus, he didn't come to this world right now, but he is the head of the church. Jesus used the church to build his kingdom, to destroy the plan of Satan, to, to bring the soul for Jesus, then for the kingdom of the Lord, through the church. Therefore, please don't despise the church. Don't misuse the church. Yeah? Church is the, the house of prayer for all nations. God used the church to win the soul for the glory of God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. Give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know Jesus better. And give us uh, the, the open heart to understand our calling. Father God, we're going to live according to uh, your calling, not our desire, not our wishes, our, our some other things, our ambition. No, no. According to your will, according to your calling, we have to live in this world. The Heavenly Father, and we are a, a church, you can use us to build your kingdom. And Lord Jesus, we thank you because you are the head of the church. Church is his body. Father, we thank you. You can uh, build the church and uh, use the church to winning the soul for your glory. Father, we thank you. We have a full of Jesus inside of us. And uh, we give the all the glory and honor and power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Stefano, are you in America now? God bless you. Give thanks to the Lord. Preach the gospel in America. In Jesus' name. Amen.